Hi, I'm Diane DeResta, author of Knockout Presentations and CEO of DeResta Communications, where we're dedicated to making you more powerful. Our approach is the science of speaking, what confidence looks like, sounds like, and how to speak the language of confidence. I had a reader send me an email that I'd love to share with you today. She said, I'm learning a lot from your YouTube videos. Can you please give me some techniques in regards to making presentations that come from your own life? I'm going to be doing some speaking about death and grieving and family issues and I want to encourage others. Are there different techniques having to do with your own life story and are there different techniques when ev inv evoking emotion? Here's what I told her. First of all, it's great to tell stories from your own life because it's empowering and people relate to it and it's also your own unique material. When you do that, the first step is to create a timeline and look at all the different events and turning points and then ask yourself at each juncture, what was the lesson I learned and what do I want to convey to my audience? Once you've done that, you want to deliver your message with pausing. Pausing is critical, especially when in evoking emotion, because people need time for the message to land. You need time for it to get in. Let them feel the impact. Thirdly, if you are going to open people up emotionally, make sure you close them back. And one of the best ways to do that is with humor because laughter releases tension. So people will be feeling pain if, it, if you're telling your story of pain. Make sure that you don't leave them there. Bring them back up and give them some hope. It's also very important that when you are telling a story that you connect the dots. You need to relate your personal experience to the audience's experience. Make the connection for them. So if you're talking about losing a loved one or grieving, you then want to ask the question, who has disappointed you? Who have you lost in your family? Now that's easier to do, but what if you're one of those speakers who has an extraordinary event? Let's say you climbed a mountain. I can guarantee most of the people in that audience will never climb a mountain. So how do you relate it back? Well, you tell your story and then you say something like, when I finally got to the peak of the mountain, I realized there was no challenge that I couldn't master. What are the mountains in your life? What are the challenges that you need to master? By asking that kind of question, you relate it back to their own real world and now they can relate. So when you're telling your life story, it's a very powerful way to speak. Create timelines. Make sure that you pause. If you open them up, close them back up emotionally and always connect the dots. Relate your experience to their own. To get started writing your life story presentation, you can visit my website www speechmakersite.com. There's special templates that will help you write and craft a compelling presentation. And you can also visit my other website, www.deresta.com. I wish you success on the platform of life, and may every presentation be a knockout.